it's Mayan Shah with RVMAX.US and today we have a 2017 Tiffin Allegro Breeze. This is the 31BR model that's only 31 and a half feet long and this thing has three slides on it. So absolutely opens it up inside and it's one of the shortest A buses that you could possibly get. Full air ride, air brakes, exhaust brake, engine in the back for, for a much quieter ride. And for this generation, they started giving us a big 10,000 pound front end um, with, of course, independent front suspension and, of course, air ride. And that has really changed how these handle. This handles much more like a big bus. Um, and really, you're left with just being lightweight held against you. But after driving it, I was very impressed um, with that updated suspension setup we've got in this 17 model. The front end has a one piece, uh, pretty much seamless glass piece up here for the windshield, perfectly flush with the body. This has a 6,000 watt Ona and quiet diesel generator and this whole front piece will slide out so you've got excellent access to the generator and other components up in the front end. All you need to do to release it is open this compartment and pull to release and here you go voila you've got your two coach side batteries you've got your hydraulic reservoir and pump and then down below you've got an onan 6000 watt generator with only 878 hours on the clock you've also got easy access to the headlights stuff like that all right so this front compartment right here is where we've got a bunch of chassis side fuses and a little bit of extra storage space Quite nice. Now right down below, you'll notice our stainless exhaust pipe for the generator. Now this coach actually has 19 and a half size polished aluminum wheels. So this is gonna save you money on tires compared to those big old tires that you get on some other coaches. And with the aluminum wheels, it finishes the look because this coach has one heck of a gorgeous paint job. I happen to be matching it uh, down to a T. Look at it, black, garnet, and like a cream white. This has a little bit of champagne going on, just light champagne along with the cream, but it's, it's a stunning paint job. You've got all the high-end touches. You've got these chromed out baggage door handles, 20 gallon propane tank right here. And here is our large pass-through storage compartment. There are motion detecting LED lights down here, so you can leave them on all the time and they will automatically turn on once you open the compartment, which is quite nifty full pass-through storage compartment, extra tiles for inside, um, carpeted, super clean carpet. We've got an optional central vacuum system. And all of these compartment doors are full of insulation too. So that's gonna really help you um, in the wintertime and in the summertime. Now up above is a rear access panel to the back of our household refrigerator. Perfectly straight walls. This is a low miles coach, only about 31,000 miles on the clock. Tinted windows back behind the driver's seat. And this window up here for the driver is clean. We've got clear windows on this coach. Toppers are also in excellent condition. Um, we've got three slides on this 31BR floor plan, which is superb. One in the bedroom and then two up front. Now, I love these little side marker lights too, like a proper big bus. Dually back here. These tires have date codes of 48 of 21. They were installed in about June um, or July of 22. And then the house batteries were installed around the same time in 2022. So you got fresh tires, fresh batteries um, on this coach. Now our exhaust pipe is actually built into this panel here. It's kind of slick. And then right here, we've got our death tank. So this is the tank where you keep it full, keep it shut, try not to think about it. Classic. And then right here, we've got a 50 amp power cable um, with our automatic transfer switch. Now this automatic transfer switch does have a surge guard built in, so you don't have to carry or lug one of those things around or buy one for a couple hundred bucks built into the coach. And our gas fired propane heater is right here. Now this does have an optional um, 15,000 BTU front air conditioner that also has a built in heat pump. This has a Cummins ISV 275 horsepower, 560 pound-feet of torque, 
It's a 90 degree V8 turbo diesel made by Cummins specifically to go into applications such as this. They put a ton of research in it. If you dig into the ISV um, model history, you can tell that Cummins gave it everything. It's a four valve per cylinder, 32 valve V8 turbo diesel. Um, and it's extremely quiet being located back here in the back of the coach. Now this thing has a 4,500 pound tow capacity. Um, right down here, we've got a Reese Type 3. There's a built-in air chuck already. And then you've got a seven flat pin connector for your trailer brakes and trailer lights. The camera is built into the rear cap and this rear cap has this slick styling that actually is molded a little bit to kind of look like a spoiler on the back of a high-end car. It's nice looking rear end, proper rear end on a bus. Now the rear lights are all embezzled in like a smoked chrome. And then you've got these really bright reverse lights down below. Now this right here is our ladder. You've got a flagpole that goes in uh, or is built into the ladder so you can easily mount one of those suckers up. And then again, the rear end of this thing looks really nice. The intake for the engine is actually built into the rear cap of this coach. And this has a magnificent one piece fiberglass roof. Let's hit these compartments right here. Finally, Tiffin gave us some proper badging. These are thick pieces right here, not just cheap little decals. But this is our um, rear storage compartment for our chassis starting batteries. You've also got a built-in tender um, and then a little bit of storage over there on the left. All these compartments shut very nicely. Now here is a nice easy area or easy access to our air dryer filter for the compressed air system. You've also got a nice auxiliary air chug so you can get air out of the system of the coach and fill up tires and stuff like that. And then you've got dumps for the um, secondary and primary air tanks on the coach. Now that fan and radiator is the condenser for your air conditioning system, the dash air, which the dash air blows cold. I can't wait to show you how the cockpit looks on this thing. I've got a rear, rear dually right here. Again, 19 and a half polished aluminum wheels, our second furnace system right here. Um, and then we've got an optional outside TV where you can easily hang out here, watch TV, all that good stuff. It's an LG um, flat screen, and I believe it's got smart TV built in. I have to double check that. But that's a nice option to have um, on this coach. And this right here is our tank bay. Now this has 70 gallons of fresh water capacity, 33 gallons of black, and 55 gallons of gray. You've also got a tank flush um, on both sides, which is quite nice. And then right over here, you've got your big main pass-through storage compartment. You've also got a chuck right there for your propane so you can easily hook in an outside grill. And then this is the other small compartment that leads us to our pass-through storage compartment. Now this is a touch of extra storage space here. There's also some extra outlets, multiple type of plugins, and also a plug-in for your satellite if you want to have an extra satellite out here. Um, this also has a built-in inverter, which is located right there in that compartment. And this is the fill for our 70 gallon fuel tank. Now this is supposed to get about nine to 10 miles a gallon. I've even seen better. This coach is currently indicating 9.3 miles to the gallon, which is really good for any bus. Full air ride, full um, air suspension, air brakes. And this generation has the upgraded 10,000 pound IFS front end with air ride, of course, which has significantly increased um, the ride quality of the breeze and actually makes it feel more like a proper air ride diesel bus. Now, of course, this has an exhaust brake. I always like this design right here. This is a classic Tiffin uh, add-on. It also eliminates your blind spot. If you've got a little Corvette hanging out right here, you can see him through this window from the driver's seat. And also the doggo's got a nice spot to hang out. Now this is an electric entrance awning. We've got LED patio lights out here. Um, there's one above the door and then there's one over here under the main patio awning. The toppers are so fresh, they look brand new. And then this electric patio awning, it's, the coach is so small that it makes this look huge. Um, but yeah, it does exist and it looks good. It's got an aluminum shroud that covers it up and you're gonna be able to hang out and chill in your patio space with no problem. Another classic Tiffin bus trait, extra wide entrance steps and extra wide entrance step well to a gorgeous interior.
Welcome inside. This coach has a really nice interior, great floor plan. The 31 floor plan allows us to have that triple slide setup. So these two front slides here are both big hydraulic slide outs. And interestingly, the switches for those slide outs are actually located on the backs of the front two seats. So you're definitely, definitely going to make sure that you're not gonna scrape your seats when you operate the slide outs. Now there is a nice tile flooring from the front to back. It's not like a hard stone tile. Um, it's almost like these thick pieces of vinyl, almost like a LVP, but they've been made into tiles and it looks nice. It's easy to keep clean and goes well with the style of this interior. The woodwork is I believe called like English toffee or something like that, but it's very nice woodwork, almost like a classic style coach design as far as how it looks and um, we also have very nice upholstery so this booth dinette the front two cockpit chairs and then the nice flex steel couch across from the dinette are all lined in an optional ultra leather so not that vinyl material that can tend to peel off this is a higher quality material that you see in higher end uh, luxury diesel buses especially but yeah, the upholstery is in excellent shape. This couch has removable armrests, um, beautiful brown piping, and then a nice fold out mattress underneath that folds out, not just the jackknife. Big window back there, there's an emergency exit, very tasteful wood and trim work around all the windows. And there's a good amount of lighting, um, which is all LED and cabinet storage. So the cabinet storage looks bigger than the outside compartments would make you believe it is. And it's also all been lined with this extra little layer of insulation. Tiffins are well insulated in the first place, but having this extra layer up here, um, very cleanly installed, looks fantastic. Um, and it also provides you with extra insulation. Now there's outlets back there. Um, and this, Right here is where we've got our big Whirlpool household refrigerator, stainless. Nice having the household refrigerator, especially with that inverter. And it looks really good too. It's a very slick design uh, refrigerator. So you got your refrigerator up top. I mean, your refrigerator down below, freezer up above. And then over here, we've got a big Samsung smart TV with those signature accent lights mounted on the back of the TV. Nice little mantle fireplace down below, which was an optional feature that does put out heat. So that's a nice little setup. I love that. And then the, having the fireplace with built-in heat helps you save propane as you're not gonna have to burn as much propane in your regular furnace. Now, right now we're connected to local TV. So that's what you're seeing on the TVs. Um, over across from that area, we've got our dinette. So this dinette will turn into a bed. This will go down flat. Beautiful Corian countertop here, big window, another large um, emergency type exit where you could get out of the coach if you need to because it's such a big window. USB outlets hidden back here, in addition to many outlets that you have in the galley space. And right here, you've got a little outside uh, temperature setup. Um, it'll show you outside temperature, inside temperature. It's really nice having that. It's also got uh, forecast that comes into it. So that is a cool, nifty little added thing on the wall. Nice multiplex switching, easy to control all the lights. You've got light master kill switches. Um, and then you can also control the panel backlighting. Outlets down there behind this passenger seat. Now these front two seats are optioned up from the uh, base model and they look really good. They're in excellent shape, no peeling whatsoever. They both swivel around so you can enjoy them in the middle of the coach. And this one has a recliner built into it. Now behind me is an optional upgrade. I keep saying that optional upgrade, it just has a good bit of options and I wanna talk about them because that differentiates us from the competition among many, many other things, not just about this particular unit, but about how we run the business and all that stuff. But anyways, this was an optional upgrade, having another TV added up front, LG TV. There's a bunch of cabinets up there, all lined with that extra insulation and giving us extra storage space. Now there's LED map lights, very slick cockpit, which we're gonna look at later. But yeah, that's a nice, uh, a nice feature having that extra TV. Now this dinette does have extra drawers built in, by the way. 
Now the galley space, this is a good sized countertop um, when you consider especially the dual sink so you don't necessarily have to have both pieces removed and just the way it looks with these thick Corian countertops and then that backsplash that looks like it was robbed straight out of a 08 or 2010 King Air. Um, I love that style, really nice. And then uh, because our microwave slash convection oven is located down below, um, right under our three burner gas stove, we've got a bunch of extra storage up top, which is really nice, especially in this small little coach where you are fighting to have extra storage space. And they did a good job. I have to say for a 31 foot coach, they knocked it out of the park as far as, far as storage space goes and a lot of other things. Now this right here is a little shelf system, fully adjustable. There's two shelves, they're just sitting both at the bottom. You can adjust them wherever you'd like. Extra drawer down below, three drawers built in here with a built-in um, organizer for utensils. And there's three sets of outlets there and then this nice little exhaust fan slash LED light bar setup. Now across from the galley, um, you've got a couple controls. The control for our front air conditioner, which is a 15,000 BTU heat pump air conditioner. Um, and then you also have controls for your water pump, your hot water heater, little digital readout for your tanks and your battery voltage. You can also deploy your nice exhaust fan. You've got a fantastic exhaust fan right above the kitchen. And then in here is our bathroom. So the bathroom is not massive, but you gotta remember it's a 33 feet diesel bus. Beautiful countertop over here, nice stainless, um, nice looking faucet there. Big medicine cabinet space. There's outlets over there, storage down below. Good size drawer there and then a good size cabinet um, in addition to that little exposed cabinet over there. Now the shop, there is a pocket door here by the way. Nice little window in the back. Exhaust fan directly above. It's nice and fantastic electric exhaust fan. And this, um, by the way, that's a nice porcelain toilet. This is not like a tiny toilet um, that you see in some coaches, but it's not like a big massive household residential. Uh, I'm 5'11", and as you can see, I've got a good bit of space up above me. Glass shower enclosure here. So high quality finish and feel. High quality finish and feel on that shower door. Let me step out of here. So you have to step kind of like that to get out. And let's continue on. Um, oh, just I want to flex real quick. Check out that big stainless sink and these beautifully finished Corian pieces that fit in to cover it up. Looks really nice. I love that sink. And I love that backsplash. Okay, this is the bedroom. So bedroom, we've got a big slide over there that carries the bed out. That's a queen size bed. Um, there's a little bit of space on each side. There's cubby hole storage on each side, hidden under the little countertops on each side. There's USB ports on each side. There's regular outlets on each side. What more could you ask for? Um, there's windows on each side. We've got a beautiful headboard back there. Nice looking piece. Controls um, for the light master kill switch, which is nice. You can kill all the lights in the coach with ease. Deep, deep, deep storage back here. All connected, all those three are connected. Beautiful woodwork and trim pieces. Little bit of extra storage cabinets right here on the ends. And there's storage below the bed. So good bit of storage in this coach. Now the carpet back here covering the engine is clean. This is a removable piece, which you wouldn't know. It's very seamless. That hard surface continues all the way around here. Um, in the very back, we've got a big, nice wardrobe. I mean, that's a regular size, massive class A coach wardrobe. There's another light here. Here we go. And these are actually motion detecting lights, so I can go ahead and leave them on. Original sticker from Tiffin. I'm gonna shut those. Across from the bed, we've got a big LG TV here. I love that they added from the manufacturer these RF receivers that make it much easier to use the remotes. 
Big Corian countertop up here for the mantle where the TV's mounted. Down here is the control for our sweet LG surround sound system that will actually absolutely make this coach jump. The subwoofer and the sound system is nice. And over here, we've got a bunch of drawers. We've got three drawers here, three big drawers there, right below that emergency exit window with the beautiful trim work around the window, Corian countertop. Again, the three drawers. We've got a fuse box here and main breaker panel. And up here, extra storage. Again, insulation in all the upper cabinets, very cleanly and professionally mounted. Nice to have that extra little insulation. LED lighting in here is sweet, but I love this bedroom. I love this floor plan. Um, we've got a beautiful big wood uh, pocket door here to shut this door off. And you've got a good size bedroom. I can't believe they fit all of this in a 33 footer and it's a diesel air ride bus. And for this generation, we've got that big front end, which is going to make this thing handle beautifully. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about before we move on is uh, this box right here. This has all the original manuals for everything in this coach, engine, transmission, original option sticker from Tiffin for this particular coach. All that good stuff comes with the bus free of charge. All right, we're on the highway right now, and you know, this coach is so much more stable than the first generation Breeze. That front end, the 10,000 pound independent front suspension front end, the power glide chassis, um, both come together in a great way, making this feel truly like a big A diesel bus, even though it's not as wide as all those big buses, and it's obviously not nearly as long. It's also not as tall. Being only 11 foot 8 inches, you can fit under a lot more things with this bus. Right now we're riding just under 70 miles an hour and it's perfectly smooth. It's just easy to keep in the center, um, partially because it's so well, partially because it drives so well, and then also partially because it's not as wide as other coaches. The gauge cluster is super slick, the view out of the front of the coach is Perfect, low profile dash, great view of that front one piece. And then also, because we don't have a massive TV, we just have our secondary TV here, the cabinets don't come down as much. So if you want this window open, you can get really great visibility out of the coach. But yeah, it's just a dream to drive. It's very easy to keep centered. It drives like it's brand new. Exhaust brake is pretty strong especially considering this is a five liter diesel and not some big massive diesel, just excellent. It's indicating an average of 9.3 miles per gallon and that's what you see on forums is typically you're gonna get nine to 10 miles per gallon. Some people are claiming higher than that, but that's solid fuel mileage for a coach, any coach. And that engine's way in the back. We don't hear any of that noise that you would hear in a Class C or a gasser where you're riding on top of the engine. And on top of that, we've got airbag ride suspension. Um, so the stability is there, much more so than a, a gasser coach. Again, independent front suspension, power glide, custom Tiffin chassis, and then we've got a nice solid Cummins diesel in the back. It's a terrific driving machine, and it's pretty amazing that Tiffin's making this coach because it's a high quality, well-built little bus, but it's little. It's only 33 feet long, and it's got a diesel with air ride and exhaust brake and air brakes. The brakes feel phenomenal, by the way, super strong brakes. It's so lightweight. I had a yellow light catch me earlier, you know, that last minute yellow light that terrifies diesel big bus drivers and any semi-truck drivers. This thing stopped on a dime, relatively speaking, because it's so lightweight and the, and the brakes are so powerful being air brakes, especially in addition with the engine brake. I love the brakes. I love how the chassis feels. I love the stability. I love the quietness. The stability is huge, huge improvement over the previous generation. So yeah, this is a special little coach. And with that, thank you for watching. Catch you all in the next one. This is an interesting, nice, fun coach. I hope you enjoyed it.